a warm, warm welcome to uh, everyone today. Senator David Van, Mr Steve McGee MP, member for Melton, uh, Mayor David Edwards, and also guests from numerous uh, departments, Oz Industry, Deakin Uni, one of our partners in the Batman Reactor, Monash University, again, who we're working closely with, Boron Molecular, uh, again, who we're working closely with in the research and development on of our battery materials, members of the press, and of course, last but not least, the Calix team, who have worked tirelessly over many years to get the company to where it is today. And it's a very proud day for us to be opening this reactor today. project is a project that we're developing at our site in Bacchus Marsh. The name of the project is Batman, spelled B-A-T-M-N, uh, for batteries and manganese. So one of the main products we'll be trialling is, is manganese carbonate. So we've produced um, a variety of manganese oxide um, cathode materials and we supplied that to um, a researcher, Dr. Jile Song, out of Imperial College who did a couple of tests with this materials and they showed the cathode material behaved pretty well. It, was, it, it demonstrated reasonably good charge-discharge profiles and was stable over like, up to 200 cycles. And so that sort of gave us the, the motivation to, to pursue this area of research. So if we look at the, the major structure, uh, the, the large blue box down the bottom is our what we call our MCC, which is our, our main electrical area. So inside that we house our thyristors, our PLC, our control. So that, that is the electrical hub of this, this project. The project is a, an electrical furnace and therefore we need equipment that's going to drive the elements and, and maintain them at the desired temperatures. So all that is housed in the, the blue box at the bottom. Um, this, this particular furnace has um, a large number of individual zones that are individually controlled. So, so you can control the what we call the temperature profile as you go down, as the particle falls down the reactor. You can control that very precisely to ensure you get very, very accurate results on your, your material that is produced. Um, it's, it's a fully electric calciner. There will be no, no gas firing, no coal. To, to produce it, which has which is been a real challenge. The next stage is to really characterise how good the Calix cathode is and, and how we can optimise Calix technology and post-processing techniques to really improve the performance of our cathode and also anode. The materials that come out of the Batman reactor uh, are really exciting for us. Uh, so these are new electro materials and typically in a battery when you start to play around with uh, the choice of electrode materials or the choice of electrolyte materials this drastically alters the properties of the battery's performance. So here we have a new type of material that uh, Calix is producing with the Batman reactor. The nanostructured uh, properties of this electrode material mean that when it's paired with some of our uh, advanced electrolytes that we produce we hope to achieve some uh, performances in our devices that you know, are superior to the previous generations. The current stage of battery materials is that the materials have to be very, very pure. They have to be the sort of the best, 99.9% .9 pure. They have to be so intricately characterised and, and, and making sure it's the best value materials here. Um, what's unique about this uh, reactor is that we can get almost to that, that same stage, but in a very quick and fast way. Um, so, so this technology is able to help us really produce a lot of a lot of materials, um, which is important in the production stages, um, but it's also important in the research stage as well. So we can trial a lot of different types of materials very quickly, um, and make make these very highly highly porous materials that gives us a lot more energy uh, density for for the batteries. Um, and so, so there's advantages in both the production side and the research side as well. We have an excellent. Um world standing um, research capability and knowledge, um, decades of, of know-how built up around Australia um, and that's what I guess we're trying to do within the, our store energy um, training centre within the CRC that's being led by Perth within projects like this CRCP we have with Calix is develop that capability so that we can you know, hopefully have if not a manufacturing industry based on batteries in Australia but also um, some component of the supply chain to batteries. Um, yeah, over and beyond just the, uh, uh, the raw minerals that we, that we currently produce. The opportunity for the CRCP is to develop a technology package that enables us to manufacture batteries here in Australia. So, K 
Scalax will be providing the electrodes uh, and Boron Molecular will be providing the electrolytes uh, and Deakin University will be assembling those components and then testing different configurations for efficiencies. Today was a very enjoyable, I think, you know, the, um, we had politicians out and that who uh, who spoke very well and very supportably, I think, of you know what Calix has done here over the last decade or so, and, and you know the um, achievements of, of the team and, and, the, and you know really exciting, I think, um, atmosphere here amongst. We've got a lot of young researchers who have just started on this project. It's a very exciting. It's a very very exciting project to be involved in, um, and I think there's 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 real potential in applying Calix technology for the production of high performance advanced battery and catalyst materials.